This week will be scary. <laughs> yeah, it will be scary. Hello and welcome, my name is David and this is Livescape Guide. This room has been on my shelf for quite a while since I played it before the corona situation escalated. I actually did a weekend trip to Prague with my girlfriend just one week before Germany and the Czech Republic went into lockdown. But since the Czech Republic allowed their escape rooms to reopen at the beginning of May, I think it's time to talk about this room, since it's one of the best I've ever played so far. So let's talk about Haunted House 2 Poltergeist from the escape room company The Chamber in Prague. This room made it to the top 50 list of Top Escape Rooms Project 2019 and is one of the scariest rooms I've ever played. And I played it together with my girlfriend, just the two of us. When you arrive at the chamber, you immediately understand that they have a lot for design and details. Even the lobby is looking great. And that also holds true for their rooms. The game takes place in an abundant research facility. In the 80s, a team of international scientists seemed to have made experiments on paranormal phenomena for military purposes. The whole operation was called Project Poltergeist. But the situation went out of control and the facility has been closed. Now it's been found again and it's on you to find out what happened. There is a long version of the story on the website. You can read it if you like. The room can be played with up to six people and is not appropriate for children. Before entering the room, each player gets a flashlight. You get one walkie-talkie to communicate with the outside and then you enter the room. The door shuts behind you and the madness starts. Most escape rooms give you the feel of a safe playing area where you can have fun solving riddles and that kind of resembles the topic of the room. But not this one. When you enter, everything actually looks like a real old, dark, rundown scientific facility. It's grim and dark, your flashlights are flickering, everything feels very realistic. So you start puzzling your way through the room. But this is no ordinary puzzle room. It's a story experience. As you progress through the room, things happen that really seem to be out of your control and that give you a real sense of the supernatural. Some doors close automatically. Your flashlights don't work in certain areas. And there are even some effects that stretch what you thought was possible inside an escape room. But the most scary element is the live actor. You've heard me right. You're not alone in the facility. The poltergeist, one of the former test subjects, is in there with you and you never know when and where he's going to appear. Before playing the room, we were told not to hit the person even though we were scared. But that wasn't necessary for us. There were moments in the game when we were cowering in a corner, screaming in fear and unable to move at all. That room was intense and thrilling in a good way. It really felt like being inside a horror movie and I would probably not suggest it for people who have weak nerves. I never ever felt so relieved when making it out of a room and we just made it in time. The riddles in that room were really solid and interesting as well, but what really made them hard is that it's so hard to think straight when you're scared to your bones. So how would I rate this roller coaster of a room? I would give the puzzles a 8 out of 10, since they were really good. And for the design I would give even a 10 out of 10 because the room just looked perfect, there was nothing that seemed to be out of place. And for the immersion, I would give it 10 out of 10 too, because this room really feels so real and alive, there's just nothing wrong about it. That makes a total number of 28, which is the highest number I've ever given on this channel so far. And I think the room deserves it. It's one of the most intense and mesmerizing experiences I've ever had inside a escape room, and definitely the most scary one. So if you happen to be in Prague, I think this room is an absolute must play. And after you've released all of your adrenaline inside the room, you can go and enjoy the beautiful city. If you like this video and want to see more content like it, then consider subscribing to my channel. Also press the bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new videos. And if you want to watch a video now, you can click on one of them on my right. Then, see you next week!